everyone, I'm Trina Isabel and welcome back to Young Engineers. This is lesson 2 of a 10 part series where you learn about science, technology, engineering and mathematics in a cool, fun and exciting manner. Let's start by recapping what we have learned in lesson 1. In lesson 1, we learned the scientific theory of velocity. We've also learned how to build a catapult and we also have completed a challenge called Who Care Ain't The Best. We have also issued you another challenge to extend the arm of your catapult and watch what happens. Have you uploaded the videos of your catapult into Seesaw Assessment Box? Great if you have done so. Now, if you have actually extended the arm of your catapult and watch what happens, you'll see that the projectile, your big rock, will travel at a further distance away. Why is this so? Because when we extend the arm of the catapult, we also increases the force that it takes to launch the brake. And thus, the brake travels at a further distance. Now, let's give a round of applause for our friends who have built the best catapult model. Great job, guys! Now, having learned about what it takes to be a young engineer in lesson 1, you have learned that counting is a very important part of being a young engineer. So right now, let's do a quick quiz on how to count. As you can see on the slide, there is a plate. Who can tell me how many caps are there on this plate? There are three caps. Very good. Now what about the axle below it? Very good, it's also three caps length. What about the leaf arm below it? It's correct, it's also three caps. Well done. Now that you remember how to count, today we're going to teach you a shortcut of how to calculate the length of an axle. Now in your kit in front of you, locate a grey plate as seen on the screen. Take out some of the axle and lay it accordingly as you see it on the screen onto the grey plate. You'll see that you'll be able to count multiple axles in just one sitting. Cool? So this grey plate acts as a ruler. Now that you learn a shortcut, let's move on to today's lesson proper. Today we are going to the amusement parks, Universal Studios, Tokyo Disneyland, and maybe Wild Wild Wet. Have you been to these places before? What is your favourite ride? Right now, on Seesaw Forum, write them down. As for me, my favourite ride is the roller coaster ride. Especially if it moves backwards. But in this lesson today, we're not talking about roller coasters. We're talking about this particular ride called the swing carousel. Have you seen it before? Have you taken a ride on it before? If you had taken a ride on it, how did you feel? Well, you feel excited while being lifted up in the air and pushed outwards from the swing. Have you ever wondered what makes it do so? Well, this ride uses a force called centrifugal force to make it happen. So what then is centrifugal force? Now, before we learn about centrifugal force, let's learn about what's inertia. Here's an example. Let's say that you're riding on a bus, and the bus suddenly comes to a stop. Have you noticed that your body will move forward even though the bus has come to a stop? What you have just experienced is called inertia. Now that we've learned about inertia, let's imagine this. The bus that you're riding on is going to make a sharp right turn. Can you remember how it feels when the bus makes a sharp turn? Now, when the bus swerves, the centripetal force pulls you towards 
the side that the bus is turning, the right side. But due to inertia, you will swing to the window of the opposite side, the left side. This force you feel pushing you towards the window is the centrifugal force. So buckle up everyone, you do not want to kiss the glass. Travel safe. Now that we've understood what centrifugal force, let's move on to building. Go to building sheets. Download the flying chairs. Follow the steps to build your flying chairs. The steps in red are enhancements. You do not need to build them if you do not have the time. But before we start building, let's go through our rules once again. A young engineer has four rules. Firstly, only use the parts of your kit. Secondly, always, always count. Thirdly, colors do not matter unless they are pins. And last but not least, always prepare for class. Are you now ready to build? Let's start building! Now that we have built your flying chairs, you can play with it by turning on the battery pack. Watch as it spins the chair outwards, just like the swing chair right. Now, if you have time, you can add more chairs to your model. Once again, once you are done, flirm it and upload it into your assessment box on Seesaw. We'll be voting for the best model again. Well, we've come to the end of class. I hope you learned something new and you have fun with us. See you next time. Bye!